the overall goal of this procedure is to measure the frequency of induced mutations in a reporter gene recovered from the germ cells of male transgenic mice following exposure to a chemical or physical mutagen. This is accomplished by first exposing male mice to a suspected germ cell mutagen. The second step is to collect the germ cells after they have progressed through the desired stages of spermatogenesis. Next, DNA containing the mutation reporting transgene is recovered from the germ cells. The final step is to package the recovered reporter genes into lambda phage particles. Ultimately, an in vitro positive selection assay is used to measure the proportion of reporter genes recovered from the germ cells that have been mutated. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like the specific locus test or dominal lethal test is that mutations are measured directly in germ cells as opposed to scoring mutant offspring. A large number of germ cells can be investigated from a single male improving the sensitivity of the assay over traditional methods, while at the same time dramatically reducing the number of animals, resources, and time. This method can address key issues in the field of genetic toxicology and mutagenesis, such as the identification of agents that are mutagenic to germ cells and the elucidation of their modes of action. Although we described the method for the mutamouse model, it can be easily applied to other transgenic rodent systems that carry bacteriophage mutation reporting vectors. Furthermore, while the method describes the process for male germ cells, it has general applicability to somatic tissues. And importantly, it is covered by an internationally harmonized...